What's going on, y'all? This is Scott from Paddle the Florida Keys. Today I'm going to take out the SIC Tile Fit Tough Tech 11 footer. This comes in the Tough Tech and the Ace Tech. The Tough Tech is a little bit heavier weight, a little bit heavier duty. Um, this is what we're using in our rental fleet right now. It's also a very popular seller. Uh, it's super stable, it's 34 inches wide, 11 feet long, so it's a little shorter, so it'll fit in some of your smaller storage areas. And it'll still be plenty stable enough for somebody up to, I'd say probably 250, 260, you could paddle this board without much problem at all. It's got uh, front bungees. It's set up for back bungees, we don't have them installed in this board, but you can put back bungees in it. And then it's also got a bow line uh, attachment so you could hook up a bow line and flip it over here a minute you can see the other side so it does have a little bit of shape to it in the front there a little bit of wave breaker action basically a big nice cruiser board suitable for all around paddling uh, doing a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of fishing off of or yoga exercise, any of that kind of stuff, a great board for that. So one of the things I like about this board is this 100% or 99% uh, sized deck pad. This is going to keep stuff from sliding around. This plastic is a little slippery, so if you put your cooler on here or your dog is running around on here or you're trying to do yoga, there's no slippery surfaces. And it's the smooth-ish deck pad. There is a little bit of texture to it. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little hexagonal uh, surface to it. So it does have a little bit better grip than just a smooth deck pad. But it's not like the diamond cut deck pads that you see in a lot of the other boards out there. That uh, after a little paddling, they really start to eat into your feet. So that's kind of nice as well. Like I said, this... Uh, Towel fit 11 foot. We also have it available in a 10 foot version for um, people that are, let's say, I want to say about 180 and below. The 10 footer is a great option. A lot of times we get couples coming in. I don't like to say husband and wife, but I like to say big person, little person. So if we have a bigger person, they would get the 11, and the smaller person would get the 10. And you know, I can paddle the 10, so I'm, I'm at 200 pounds, so that's not really um, a hard and fast rule as far as the weight, but uh, what you'll find with the longer boards is you get a little better glide, and you also get a uh, little bit faster hull speed. I don't know if that really makes a big difference with a one foot difference, but um, theoretically a longer board is going to be faster. I did notice that, you know, I'm used to paddling a 24 inch wide uh, SIC RS, which is the rocket ship race board. And so it's a lot narrower than this. And I did notice that I was hitting the side a lot with my paddle, but I think that would not be a problem for people who were looking for a recreational board. Um, I also noticed that this board tracks really nice. So even though it is kind of wide, which would tend to make it want to zigzag more, it, uh, it tracked pretty good. I could paddle anywhere from 10 to 15 strokes on each side without it veering too much off course. Um, of course, if there's a, a crosswind or a headwind, that's going to change a little bit. But uh, I did find that tracking was, I would say, tracking was uh, above par for uh, cruiser style boards, especially an under 12 foot long board. I was, I'm really pleased with the, uh, the tracking in it. This also comes in a um, the big fish, which is going to be a 12 foot by 30, I want to say 36 inch wide board. So if you're a really, really big person, like say over 300 pounds, or you want to go fishing and you want something super stable platform to fish off of, bring a lot of gear that has tracks in it and stuff like that so you can add more gear to it, um, that's an option as well. And that's, uh, that's called the big fish.
now you're probably wondering what's this going to cost for an awesome board like this well great news is the tough tech is only 779 and the ace tech is 999 the tough tech i haven't weighed it yet but i'm going to say it weighs in the 34 35 pound category maybe just a little bit more and then the ace tech is going to be about 29 pounds so about five six pounds lighter um these are boards really awesome for, for paddling around if you have sea walls and rocks or kids because you can just bump into the wall and it's not going to hurt the board. Uh, some of those fiberglass and carbon fiber boards out there are really nice for people that don't have kids or don't have sea walls or, or maybe not their first board. But for a first board, uh, 779 you get that with a paddle and you're going to be still coming in under a thousand bucks. We just delivered two last night to Miami and two boards paddles leashes everything tax included was still less than uh less than two thousand dollars so um very affordable board we also do have financing available so if you you know if you need to stretch the payments out over a little bit of time we can make that happen as well uh zero percent financing and uh we can uh set you up with that we also deliver anywhere in miami or all the way down to key west as well if you buy two boards if you only buy one board, we're going to hit you for a little delivery charge, uh, depending how far you are. If you're in the upper keys, like say 10, 15 miles from the shop, it's still going to be free. But if we're having to go down to Marathon or say up to Homestead, then we're going to charge you uh, anywhere from $50 to $100, depending on how far it is. But then, like I said, if you get two boards, we'll go all the way to Key West or we'll go. Last night we went up to um, Aventura. So, you know, we do have a pretty wide range that will go for for a double a double board sale you can also just come by the shop and pick them up yourself they fit in any pickup truck we can get them on top of most cars especially if you have a rack but uh, even if you don't have a rack we can get them on your car and you can bring them home yourself uh, this is a great board for putting in the water and, and just just going out and playing around having a good time that's uh, mostly what we see our our uh, customers wanting to do is just get out there and have a fun time out in the water they're not looking to go 20 miles or whatever um, you know they're not looking for a race board they're not trying to be competitive they just want to get in shape lose a little extra weight and not lose so much weight off that wallet so give us a call 305-434-5930 paddle 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 dot com we're in Tavernier, Florida. More about this board, the, the SIC Talfit 11 foot Tough Tech, and all the other boards that SIC has for sale, which we have, I think all of them in stock right now. Go to SICMaui.com and you'll learn all you need to know about the different construction techniques, the different models offered, and their recommended weight uh, capacities. So, Check them out online at SICMaui.com and then give us a call and, and set up an appointment for a demo or just give us a call for delivery. We don't we don't care if you don't need to demo them. <laughs> we'll bring them right on over to you. Paddle yourself to a better place today. Paddle, paddle, paddle.com.